Oi boys, welcome back, welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back with some Rugby Challenge 4 and boys, we have got another update. Now as you can see, this is version 2.01. So from what I understand, it's a pretty much a small little cosmetic and roster update. I believe rosters for the international teams, the licensed teams only obviously. So England, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. So as for the patch notes on the PlayStation 4, uh, they've only listed three things and that's updated England jersey, NZ and NZ club team squad updates, I guess. And also added likeness for the most talked about player during this year's rugby championship, Caleb Clark, also Cullen Grace, and Dubo Vai. Now this is interesting because Caleb Clark got a full-on photorealistic face scan. Now what I want to know is if they went out and got that uh, likeness in real time or if they've had that player model in the tuck. If they did like recently sculpt this, there's a bunch of players I'd love for them to update their likeness uh, off the top. Who comes to mind is Damien McKenzie, Filippo Daungunu, Matt Tumor, James O'Connor. I mean, there's plenty of international players that need a bit of a touch up. As for the gameplay, I'm not too sure if they have made adjustments. What you'll see in the background is a game between the All Blacks and England with England's new, uh, newly updated away kit. One thing that felt different was general play. Uh, the general play kicking, again, the speed of it has been slowed down to what it was before compared to uh, last time. At least that's what it feels like to me. But anyway, back to this uh, this little team and player update. I do find it strange that they did um, update only three players. Or well, at least they listed three players. But man, it's this is a game changer. I feel like the game is in a is in a it's in a weird position. It's in a good position, I reckon, at the moment because we said it all along way before the game came out. We uh, we thought that there would be way more updates than what we've had in the past, just due to the inclusion of the Unreal Engine and also them going into early access mode as well sort of pointed towards a, a better supported game post launch uh, than what we've had in the past and this is what update number four or five I think hopefully they keep this up and we get uh, squad updates for the 2021 season what I'm waiting on though is the career mode update the biggest thing being player progression because what they have at the moment is actually really really solid from the actual ui to the squad management little things like the news tabs and whatnot it's looking really good so hopefully that career mode update rolls out early 2021 if they can time it with the launch of the super rugby season or whatever the whatever it is super rugby nz super rugby au now that that would be hectic there's nothing much else to say about this update. It's a nice little uh, unexpected surprise, I guess. Maybe it's a hint for things to come in the future. I never would have thought that updating player likenesses would be a thing in a rugby game, but hey man, we're here and I am all for this. I think that's where I'll wrap up the uh, quote unquote commentary. I won't let the game play out. It was only a little five minute game and the newly included Caleb Clark does end up scoring a Caleb Clark-esque type of try so make sure you stick around for that for now i'm going to play a few more games so that'll be it from me boys if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby related content or more content in general you know what to do run up the likes subscribe to the channel if you're new if you didn't know i will be covering the development of this game every update so i'll keep you boys tapped in thank you for tuning in and i'll see you 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 you, you. later it's slow coming out of there he pushes the pass further. Time's almost up for the first half. Great turnover. It was good work by them leading up to that. He dives on top of it. Do they have this still? Yes, they do. He's looking for support here. This one could still go either way with the scores square at the end of the first half. Not surprising to see the match very close between these two sides here at the break. Some good work being done in the first half, Justin. Opportunity now to have a look at the stats in the game. That's both teams out. We're ready to begin the second half. Kickoff is made. Caught and crashes it up. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Short pass here. That's gone to nowhere. Clark is absolutely smashed. Gets taken down in a hard tackle. Driving right at the defence. Mitchell thumped into the ground. Vunipolo finds a runner. The number three can't get away from the defence that time. He's taken down hard. 
That's a very flat pass. Mitchell pushes through. Strong running. There's the ball. Winnie Polo finds support. <laughs> Leonard Brown makes the tackle. Well played. Good ball retention here. He keeps the ball moving. George takes him in a nice tackle. The All Blacks have got this turnover. Aaron Smith delivers it on. And he's crunched to the ground hard. Coach will be very disappointed if they've lost this. Ford is pushed back in a great tackle. Mitchell picks it up. And they drive him backwards. Now it's been picked up and probes the defence. Turnover. They were banking on getting this back, and now they have. Look at that formation, Justin. All eyes on the fly half here. He looks to throw that big wide pass. Clark tackles superbly there. Hardy Sabi takes it. Brazil with a nice bend. Coach won't be happy if it's turned over here. There's some real force in this defence. Very nimble on his feet here. George. Charging on. Not releasing. And that's a penalty. They need to just be a bit more disciplined. So, just a few minutes remaining here. They have a chance here. They may look to go to a set piece. Whitelock dragged it down nicely, trying to get a drive going here. They'll have to move the ball here. Driving for the line now. They can smell a try here. Aaron Smith. Good hit. There's a big opportunity here. And he scores the winner. Well, that all came down to pressure. Plenty being piled on, and in the end, simply outstanding. Shot at goal, still to come, and chance for another two points. Conversions don't come much easier than this. Kicks and walks away. He knows it's over. He shouldn't miss a kick like that. And they've done it. New Zealand come away with the win. A respectable game of rugby. Thoroughly entertaining and such an even battle. They simply lost the ball far too often for a team of this level. The handling errors were far too high. So a good contest here. So it was a real contest in the end. The All Blacks come away the victors here. It's been a great game. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye from us.